sweep the leg. Ah! What is happening good people of YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're back here Farm Simulator 22 I believe this is episode number four here on Bailey Farms In the last episode you can see it right here Teddy Bailey bought some sheep and they are happy little sheep. They're fat little sheep. Look at them I mean they're eating. They're eating all this grass they're not eating the grass that we work so hard to put in their little trough, and that's fine. You want to eat the grass over there? Go ahead. Make yourself happy. What? Are you looking at me? I mean, this guy looks like he's got an attitude. I don't know. We might have to have some lamb for dinner. Get the hell out of here. All right, anyway. Also, in the last episode, we got some grass. We did a side job, and we bailed up some grass. We got a grass bale right here that's feeding our sheep. We bought the sheep. We made some money and uh, $88,000 is what we have in the bank right now. And as you can see, it's a brand new day. The sun is arising and we are ready to get to work in this episode. We've got a lot to do. We're going to check on our greenhouses here. Looks like we do have 18,575 liters of water, so we're doing good. And here is a pallet of lettuce, 500 liters right here. And if you walk up to the door, it says inside we have another 223 liters ready to go. And uh, we're not going to take this to the market yet until we get a few pallets, enough to load onto our trailer. And speaking of pallets, let's go over here and check on our honey. Now, I forgot where it is. It's over here. Okay. All right, here it is. We've got some honey. We've got 400 liters of honey, and that is pretty good. The bees are hard at work. The greenhouse is hard at work, and Teddy Bailey's hard at work here too. Let's check on our fields. In this field, we have canola growing. It's 50% fertilized, so we are going to have to run some fertilizer on this field this morning. And this field over here, we have some sorghum, and uh, this is also 50% fertilized. So we're going to have to run some fertilizer here. And this field as well, sorghum, 50% fertilized. So we're going to have to fertilize all of our fields this morning. Here are our bees. And uh, are they awake yet? Doesn't look like they're coming out. I mean, it's October. Maybe it's chilly. And they decide to stay inside today. All right, another thing we're going to want to do, we are going to want to look at uh, taking these bales to the market and see if we can sell those and make a good chunk of change. All right, hopping in the old Steyr tractor here, and uh, knowing that we have to fertilize our fields, uh, we have a decision to make. Let's check the used equipment market, see if there's anything here. There is a fertilizer spreader, and we do need a fertilizer spreader. This one's $21,000. It has a width of 12 to 18 meters, and this thing holds a lot of fertilizer. All right, we can put an extension on it for an additional $1,375. And honestly, it's going to cost us $8,000 to get an 18 meter width. So all in all, it'll be $31,000. I tell you what, coming into the actual market here, we can look at this fertilizer spreader here for $25,000. I mean, this attaches onto the back of the tractor and the width is 42 meters. I tell you what, this seems like a better deal. I mean, you're going to get a wider spread, 42 meters is pretty big. Now it doesn't hold as much fertilizer, but I think we'll be able to do all of our fields with uh, 3,000 liters. I mean, that's pretty much what it holds. So I think what we're going to do right now, Teddy Bailey, we're going to buy this fertilizer spreader. And there it is. All right, now we have to buy some solid fertilizer. We've got two options, both of them 1820 bucks, both of them 1,000 liters. I kind of like the one with the bull on the bag, if I'm being honest. You know, I mean, it's a bull. And the reason we're going with the big bag is if you look at the big pallet, it's the same amount of fertilizer. It's $1,920, so it's a little bit more money. And in the regular pallets, we've got solid fertilizer here. That's $1,400. 
for only 750 liters. So I think bang for the buck, we're gonna go with the big bag solid fertilizer. We're just gonna buy three bags. It's $1,820 times three. It's gonna cost us 5,460 bucks. There we go. And that is gonna be waiting at the shop for us. And we can just put it right in the fertilizer in the parking lot. All right, Teddy Bailey gonna drive to the shop first thing in the morning. We are going to talk to Jim and Martha Armand. Wish them a good morning. It is October. The leaves are starting to change here. And it's an exciting day. Oh my God, look out. Wow, little van cruising on by. Just go ahead and blow on by us. I mean, you know, look out. Oh my God. Whew, boy. Teddy Bailey avoiding the accidents here this morning. People are driving like crazy once again around Bailey Farms. I don't know, maybe it's something in the water in this small rural town that's causing people to drive like absolute idiots. But not Teddy Bailey, he's not driving like an idiot. It's everyone else's fault. That's the story and I'm sticking to it. All right, here we go, Jim and Martha Armands. Now the other thing we're gonna have to do, and I don't know whether to do it the first day of the month or the second day of the month, we're gonna have to keep an eye on our vehicle maintenance costs and our gas. And we'll probably do it at the end of each day, take a, a peek at them. Here is our fertilizer spreader. We put it on the back and now we get to fill it up. And here it goes, it's filling up right there. All right, one bag in. Let's go ahead and move a little closer to these bags. All right, second bag is going in. There we go, now let's put that third bag in. And now the spreader is filled up to 3,000 liters. It's 93% full. And uh, away we go back to the farm and let's fertilize our fields. Pretty exciting day. And if you missed the last episode, go back and watch it right now. What the hell are you waiting for? We got sheep. We did grass. We got into a little bit of an accident with the uh, with the tractor, but that's fine. Everybody was fine. The insurance takes care of it all. And I think today, after we fertilize our fields, we are going to look in the contracts and see if we can't do a job harvesting some sort of wheat. And I just, I just, I just blew right past our farm, didn't I? Wow, okay. All right, well look, these are the fields we have to fertilize. So let's just turn right here and uh, we can start down at the bottom. Let's go over to this side and we're going to start fertilizing the fields. And the reason Teddy Bailey wants to do a contracting job with some uh, grain is because we need to put some more grain in the grain mill so we can keep making flour and keep making bread. All right, here we go. Let's turn this fertilizer spreader on. We're going to move the camera out so we can actually see it. And here we go. The fertilizer spreader is on and look at how wide that goes out. I mean, that is pretty awesome. All right, it's gonna be difficult to see where we've already fertilized, uh, but I have a pretty good idea, so we're just gonna guess, and if there's some overlap, that's fine. Almost done this field here we changed the width of the spray or spread here uh, so that there's not too much overlap we've only used about uh, I mean 40% or so of our fertilizer so that's pretty good and we've got all our fields done all right there it is the fields are fertilized and we can go ahead and put this fertilizer in the little shed that we have and drop it off because we are not going to need to use this again for a little bit. 
All right, there it is, detaching the fertilizer spreader. And let's get back out here. Now we're gonna go check and make sure the status of the fields has changed. And it has, we are 100% fertilized. And I'm sure that's gonna be the same way on all of the fields. So in a couple months, we're gonna have some fields that are ready to harvest. We are gonna have to rent a harvester. Uh, we sold ours initially so that we could make some investments. And I don't know whether we should take a loan from the bank at some point if we need some extra funds or if we should just keep uh, renting or leasing things. I mean, a harvester is only going to be used, I don't know, once every, you know, or twice a year, actually, I, I think. I don't know. Leave it in the comments down below. What do you think we should do here on Bailey Farms? And speaking of comments down below, now is the perfect time to ask yourself the question of the day. Are you subscribed to the channel? If the answer is no, stop what you're doing right now and subscribe to the channel. What the hell are you waiting for? And don't forget, hit the bell notification so that you're notified of all the content coming out on the channel. Hit the like button. Even if you don't like the video, you gotta hit it. It's part of the YouTube rules. And leave your comments down below doesn't even matter what you say all right we're gonna put these uh, hay bales back on the spikes here and bounce off the barn wall and that's fine all right and we are gonna take these somewhere and we're gonna sell them because we need the money we've got some big purchases coming up and we're gonna want to start getting our hands on some grass equipment like mowers and wind rowers and all that kind of stuff all right it looks like the livestock market has the best prices for straw right now so we are going to head that way and sell all of these straw bales and uh hopefully we'll make a pretty penny it'll help us along our journey to getting a big old bank account All right, making our way to the animal dealer to sell the stuff. We're passing our grain mill, and there it is. We need to put some grain in there so that we can keep up our production of flour and ultimately our production of bread. So we're gonna look at a harvesting contract. Hopefully we can get one that'll pay us a good amount of money and uh, there'll be a good chance that there's some extra grain left over at the end of the job that we can sneak into our grain mill. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and lop these bales down. I have two gone and I can't really read it. It's $1,500 for those two bales and that is pretty good. So let's go ahead and drive this trailer. Oh boy, don't hit the wall. There we go. All right. Bam, all the bales are gone. Another 7,536 bucks in bales. So all in all, looks like it was about $9,000 in bales. And uh, that's pretty good. Bank account back up to $67,000. We're gonna drive back to the farm. Let's drop this trailer off and let's check and see what contracts are out there for harvesting so that we can make some money and maybe uh, take a little bit of grain home with us. All right, back at the farm and we're taking a look at some of the contracts. <clears throat> We've got one right here. It's harvesting wheat in field number 43, $8,247 for the job, minus 916 bucks because we are going to have to rent the equipment here or borrow the equipment here, which is fine. Probably gonna take us a bit of time to do this job, but uh, I feel like we're gonna get some extra wheat out of it, and also we're gonna make $8,247, which can't hurt. So we're gonna go ahead and accept this contract, borrow the items, and there we go. The items are available at the shop. And here we are, at the shop. Jumping right in, here is our harvester. Let's go ahead and turn this thing on, and uh, I guess we'll attach the header. Boy, this thing is pretty damn cool. I 
I gotta tell you, one day, Teddy Bailey hopes to have a harvester that's as cool as this. And there we go, the front end is attached, and uh, I guess we can just drive the har harvester right to the field, which is right next door to the shop. Very, very convenient here for Teddy Bailey. Teddy Bailey likes convenience, and uh, here it is. I mean, it's a big wheat field. So, uh, I mean, geez, it is kind of big. We're just going to start right here. Let's go ahead and unfold the harvester. We'll lower the header. Turn on the harvester, and you first need to unfold the tool, and it's not done unfolding. Okay, that's fine. Patience is a virtue. All right, now, there we go. Turning on the harvester. And let's go ahead and start harvesting some wheat. Very exciting here. Teddy Bailey taking control of this big harvester and having himself a day. I mean, anytime you get to drive one of these big machines, it has got to be a load of fun. And that's what we're all about here on Bailey Farms, is having fun. Work hard, play hard. That is the motto at Bailey Farms. And let me know what your motto is in the comments down below. All right, we're going to set this job up with the AI worker, and that way we can go ahead and get back into the shop and get the tractor and trailer set up. And here we are. Nice white Valtra tractor, and we've got a Michelin trailer, which is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and start this tractor up. Let's hook on our trailer and drive to the field so that we can prepare to get the harvested wheat and there it is. What a cool trailer and a cool tractor. Color coordinated. You got the Michelin Man's fat arm there on the side of the trailer. And everybody loves the Michelin Man because he's cute. Like a big old baby. Lots of fat rolls and cheeks. And everybody loves fat rolls and cheeks. Am I right? All right, we're going to drive the truck out here. I'm pretty sure it's going to be needed. So somewhere in the middle of the field, we're going to get and park it. And let's jump back in the harvester. We are back in the harvester. We are going to dismiss the AI worker, take it over for ourselves. And now let's just keep harvesting. All right, well, we've got a problem here. I can't get the uh, trailer under the uh, harvester because the uh, harvester is, I guess we're on a hill. So let me get in this harvester and let's see if I can't finagle this somehow this way. There we go. Boy, what a uh, very picky game this is. So we got to remember that for future fillings. 
Gotta have the trailer below the harvester on the hill. All right, let's go ahead and put the harvester back to work. Not really halfway done this field yet, probably about 25% done the field. And I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We are gonna take this trailer to sell off the grain and let's see what percentage of completion the job is. And that'll kind of give us a gauge as to whether or not we're gonna get a good amount of grain to take with us after the job's completed. All right, so we got two harvester loads of grain in the trailer here. It's 66% full. And uh, let's go ahead and take this where it needs to go. All right, we uh, looked at the contract. Looks like we got to go to a farm shop here. So let's, we're going to take the trailer. And let's get out on the highway here. And while the AI worker continues to harvest the field, we are going to drive to the shop and unload the wheat. All right, here we are arriving at the farm market. We're gonna drive the tractor into this little grain dumping place. Now let's go ahead and get rid of this trailer. All right, contract is 40% complete. And we got 39% transported from the field. So we know that two harvester loads is 39%. If we do two more harvester loads, that'll get us up around 78% complete. Like one and a half harvester loads after that, we should be good. So all in all, we're looking for about three and a half more harvester loads. And that's just a rough estimate. Teddy Bailey likes rough estimates here at Bailey Farms. We're not working with real numbers. Pretty sure it's after Teddy Bailey retired. Oh my God. Look out. Oh boy. That's all right. Insurance will cover that. Like I was saying, I'm pretty sure Teddy Bailey retired and he didn't really feel like doing a lot of math in his retirement. And you can see as we crest the hill, the wheat field up there on the left, the harvester is doing its work, making nice pretty rows. It's too bad we can't uh, grab up all the straw while we're waiting. And uh, boy, this is uh, it's one pretty field. I mean, look, I wasn't doing a bad job when I was driving that harvester, but uh, I tell you, this AI worker is doing a much better job than me. All right, let's go back and jump in this harvester, dismiss the AI worker, and back to harvesting the field we go. And I missed a little spot. Let's go ahead and back up and grab that. There we go. And here we go. Back to harvesting the wheat. How exciting is this?
right, we have got a full trailer of wheat. We're going to go ahead and take this to the selling point and uh, let's see where it puts us with the completion percentage of this contract. Now we are going to go back here to the harvester and while we're taking the wheat to the selling point, we're going to hire an AI worker. And I tell you what, I've made a pretty cool pattern here in this field. And hopefully the AI worker doesn't mess that up. But he probably will. All right, we have got a full tank of wheat here, and this truck is moving pretty slow. Probably going to take us a while to get to the selling point. Well, here we are pulling in to the selling point. And let's go ahead and dump this in there and see what the numbers tell us. Wow, this is a great view here. Contract is 90% completed. It's telling us 99% of the harvest is transported here. So we only need a little tiny bit of grain left. So pretty much the rest of that field is going to be ours. Now let's, uh, let's go up this way. Seems like an easier way out of here. And let's head on back to the field. And we are going to be done with this job pretty soon. All right, here we are pulling into our field. And it looks like the uh, harvester has stopped for some reason. And we're not sure why. We're going to have to figure out why. But there he is. He's just stopped. Maybe he thought the job was complete. Or she thought the job was complete. But it sure as hell isn't. And maybe the AI worker was confused with all of the great patterns that Teddy Bailey had left in this field. All right, while we're cleaning up this little area, let's go up here and hit this little patch. Uh, Teddy Bailey must have fallen asleep at the wheel over here and missed this big patch earlier. So we're gonna clean this up, then we'll finish up the field, put the grain into the trailer, and then it's gonna be a very careful process taking it back up to that uh, market there. We're going to have to dump it in a little bit at a time just until we hit that 1%. And then we can take the rest of the grain back to the grain mill and hijack it as our own to help us with our flour and bread production. Last little nub of the field being harvested right now. We've got 8,400 liters of wheat in the harvester and the field is complete. Let's go ahead and unload this into the trailer and uh, take it back to the market. And I'm assuming we're probably gonna come out anywhere between seven, 7,500 liters of wheat that we can keep for ourselves. And then we can go put that into the grain mill. You can take a look at our grain mill and it doesn't have any flour in it. And taking a look at the bakery and there's only 8,000 liters of flour left in the bakery for bread making. So definitely important to get some product going in there. All right, there it is. We got to get out of this field. This tractor is struggling pulling this trailer uphill yeah that's kind of why uh you know it's good teddy bailey does some of these contracts and contract work because 
get to drive around different equipment and kind of get a feel for what you like, what you don't like, which tractors work for what jobs, and uh, so far, this tractor is uh, not very good at pulling a heavy load. Nobody likes a tractor that can't pull a heavy load. I don't know, leave it in the comments down below. If you like a tractor, you can't pull a heavy load. And it's such a beautiful countryside here. One of these days, Teddy Bailey is going to find time to take off work and stroll down along the riverside, maybe have a picnic. And it could be that uh, one of his friends, his good friend Jennifer, that he hires to do some of the tending to the fields, you know, maybe she'll join him on the picnic. Who knows? Only time will tell here in this farming simulator series on the channel. Now this is the tricky part. We're going to pull it in here. We're going to try and just release 1% of this load. Alright, there we go. We just tapped on it and there it is. The job is complete. You can see we got $1,459 for the harvest income. We're left with 7,200 liters of wheat. The contract is complete. So now we can take this grain to our grain mill and stuff it in there. And the other option is just to continue to sell it. But rather than the money, we would definitely like to have the product going into one of our production chains. And after we do that, we can go ahead into the menu and complete the job and get paid for it. Don't want to do that now because the equipment and the product will disappear. Ah, and here it is. The old grain mill. And I'm wondering if this is the right turn. I don't, I don't know. Seems like this little trail goes down this little peninsula. I wonder if we can get across to the grain mill. Well, let's give it a shot. Oh God, we're off-roading here. Holy crap, oh, we hit something. We hit something. We hit a rock. That, this, is not the, this is not the way to go. All right, obviously this is uh, not a trail meant for a big old tractor. Now we gotta figure out how to get the hell out. All right, we're gonna try and do a, do a U-turn here. I mean, it's lots of drama here at Bailey Farms in this series. And, uh, oh boy, I mean, what have we gotten ourselves into? All right, we have found a way out. Holy crap. I mean, it's always an adventure. And if anybody knows Teddy Bailey, he's always up for an adventure. Just saying. All right, here's the proper way into the grain mill. Perhaps uh, on his day off after that picnic, maybe he'll drive down or walk down that trail and see what the hell's down there. All right, we're gonna offload our wheat here into our grain mill. That should help us out a little bit. All right, so if we look now at the grain mill, 9,193 liters of wheat are in there. Flour is being made as we speak, and it'll be distributed to the bakery for some bread. And speaking of bread, let's go ahead and collect our dough. <laughs> oh, from this harvesting job, 7,331 bucks. And there we go. Back at the farm, checking on our sheep, and uh, they have got some wool here. 77 liters of wool, not a lot. And it's gonna take some time to really see some big profits. Uh, but exciting things going on on the farm. I mean, it's 2.42 in the afternoon. Teddy Bailey hungry for his cheese steak. And one of the things Teddy Bailey definitely wants to do is get his other tractor equipped with a front loader so that he can have two front loader tractors. So I tell you what, we're gonna drop this weight off Let's just drop this right here. We're gonna drive this tractor on up to the shop, talk to Jim and Martha Armand, and we'll see if they can set him up with a front loader. And that way we can come back to the farm, put the pallet fork on it, and uh, we're gonna maybe think about running our honey or lettuce up to a farmer's market or somewhere and sell it. And just uh, maybe we can end the episode making a little bit more money because everybody loves to end an episode making more money. I mean, it's proven, I think. I mean, somebody did a study somewhere, probably, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Leave it in the comments down below. Somebody do a study about making money to end an episode and making you happy. 
All right, there's our vehicle. While we're here, let's go ahead and repair it. 433 bucks. There we go. You want to keep the condition of your tractor pretty good at all times. It's just going to save you money in the long run. Let's go ahead in here and we are going to add a front loader, a little quickie front loader, and that is going to run us 1500 bucks. Well, the tractor is now equipped with the front loader. Now we just have to buy the front loader in the shop. And taking a look here at front loaders, we don't need anything crazy. I think this one here, 7,500, that's the one that we bought before. Let's go ahead and buy it again. All right, we didn't change the color of this one. I know you can change the color. We just left this one black and white. Pretty standard setup here. We're going to attach it to the tractor and let's get back to the farm. Put the pallet fork on and that way we can load up some of our product and perhaps make some money and something we've been thinking about here on Bailey Farms now that we have some sheep going really have the animal bug here and we want to expand and uh, maybe get some more animals here's our pallet fork let's go ahead and plop this thing on Boop. there we go now let's drive on down to the uh, greenhouse we'll get some lettuce We'll pick up our little pallet of the lettuce. And it's one little lone pallet, but look. I mean, it's something to do at the end of the day here. So we're going to pick up this little pallet. There we go. And let's see where we can take this to make some money. We're also going to lift up our little honey pallet. Now let's go ahead and put these on this big trailer here. I mean, we bought it, we might as well use it. Even though this is quite a small job. It is fun to drive around this trailer. All right, the lettuce is loaded. Now, how about the honey? Now, wouldn't it be great if we could take the lettuce and the honey to the same place? Save us some time and money. All right, here we go. Let's lower that pallet fork down. Oh, oh, that didn't work. There we go. Lift that honey on up. Let's go ahead and put this on the trailer. And like we were talking about before, we've got the itch for animals. And next up at Bailey Farms, I think it's going to be time for chickens. I mean, chickens make eggs. Eggs sell for a pretty penny. And that would be a great source of income. There we go. The honey is on the trailer. The lettuce is on the trailer. And you know what? Maybe we should put the wool on the trailer. Probably not. We're going to leave the wool for another month or so. Let's let it build back up. And let's look at some prices. All right, we got lettuce going. Uh, there's only one place that wants lettuce. It's uh, De Farmis De Farin. De Farin. We were just there with the wheat. 3386 is what we're going to get for our lettuce. And the same place wants the honey, 3348 Now, I don't think we're going to get that much money because it's not that much honey. But we're going to take it all to the same place. You know, as we drove by, another little tiny pallet of honey formed right here. Now, it's not a full pallet, but look. Why not try and make a couple extra bucks? So let's throw this on the trailer, too. All right, there it is. Let's hook on up to this trailer. Let's go ahead and drive to the farm market, sell our stuff. We'll probably make, I don't know, anywhere between five and $10,000 here. And that is not bad. So strap it on down. Let's go on to that farmer's market. Make some extra money. It's a great way to end the episode. And I tell you, I think in between this episode and the next episode, I'm probably just going to do a couple side jobs to make a little bit of extra money. Maybe get some extra resources. And we're going to come back in the next episode. And it'll probably be the month of November. And we're going to see how much more product we have to sell. Maybe one of our fields will be ready. And uh, who knows? We can do some more side work until our fields are ready. Definitely want to make some money here so we can expand the farm and buy some additional fields. And one of the goals, I think the next goal here should be to start 
our own little grass business. So we're going to need like a mower. We're going to need a baler. We're going to need a lot of stuff. It's going to cost us a pretty penny. So maybe we'll get those figures off camera. Present them in the next episode so that we know exactly what we're working with. So we got to have a plan here at Bailey Farms. Can't just go about this month to month all willy nilly. I mean, unless you like willy nilly. Well, I tell you what. While we're driving by the bakery, we might as well pick up some bread. I mean, it's 5437 bucks at the farm shop. We're all going to the same place. I mean, we can park the trailer, ride the tractor up. We can pick up a little pallet of bread, put it on here. Just a little bit more extra money. All right, here we go. Let's drive up and get this pallet of bread. I don't think you can uh, pick it up with your hands. All right, there is the pallet of bread. I tell you what, this is probably going to be pretty difficult to pick it up, but... We are learning. Teddy Bailey's learning how to use this little pallet fork thing. Oh, and look at that. Look at how awesome that is. I mean, that's going to give us $5,000 right there. That's a thousand liters of bread right there. And this uh, little trip is going to be pretty profitable here as we are working our way back towards $100,000 and eventually. We want to have a billion dollars. I mean, that's a big goal, a billion dollars. But I think we can do it. All right, we have hooked the trailer back on. We've tied down the bread, and away we go to the farm shop. Chugging up the hill to the farm shop and we've got lettuce, we've got honey, we've got bread and I'm assuming it just all goes right in here. So let's go ahead and undo these straps and uh, I don't know, keep an eye on the bank account, 66560 and will this stuff just start disappearing? I don't know because I can't see it and the bank account's not going up. Maybe we got to take it around this way. Maybe that part is only for grain. Let's check this part out. Oh, there it is. Oh, look at it all disappearing. Look at it all disappearing. The bread's gone. The lettuce is gone. The honey's gone. Our bank account is going up. And where is it going to stop? $8,830 in that little run. And that's just probably one month's worth of product. So, I mean, if we can start making eight thousand dollars a month just in product i mean that's pretty awesome it's a great start so there we have it we've made almost nine thousand dollars in that little trip bank accounts back up to seventy five thousand and let's recap what we've learned today we've learned that we like sheep sheep are cute and we've got them on the farm we're able to do harvesting contracts make a little bit of extra money also get some product and we can use that product either to make more money or to put it in the grain mill or one of our other production chains and that's always a good thing we've learned that bread is worth a lot of money i mean people paying a lot of money for bread here in this town i don't know what the hell's wrong with them but i'm not paying that much money for a loaf of bread just saying but look these people are paying it we're not asking any questions here at bailey farms we don't judge people and we don't ask any questions because you know as well as I do, Bailey Farms is a safe space. It's a judgment-free zone, and people should feel free to say and do whatever the hell they want. I tell you, these tractors are not the easiest to see out of. I'm just trying to drive down the road. kind of like these views a little bit better. All right, now coming back onto the farmlands here, and we are going to do one more thing to end out the day. It's 4.15 another hard day's work here for Teddy Bailey at Bailey Farms and for all you guys it's hard work for you too to have to watch these videos I'm telling you it's hard work all right we're going to take a look at our equipment here this one's one percent damage I think we just fixed that here's our trailer that's two percent damage anything around ten percent we're going to want to go get it fixed this trailer is one percent damage this is 17% damage, this uh, Steyr, this uh, Steyr tractor. So we're going to go ahead and get in this tractor. Let's go ahead and detach the uh, 
trailer we're going to start it up and let's go ahead and drive to the shop and get this thing fixed we really don't want to have any of our tractors or our vehicles below or above 10 percent damage because it's really going to start compounding the amount of money we have to pay for repairs and uh, teddy bailey just turned the wrong way i mean you're not going to get to the shop going this way and that's what happens when uh, you don't pay attention to where you're going so now you gotta turn around and it's just gonna waste more gas and speaking of gas we're gonna have to keep an eye on that too because we're gonna have to make sure we keep gas in these vehicles the one thing i've learned from playing farming simulator is that you gotta keep gas in the vehicles and you gotta keep them running right or else you're gonna pay the price and you're gonna be out in the field and you're gonna run out of gas and you're not gonna know what to do and then you're gonna have to google it and then once you google it, it's gonna tell you you have to go buy this stupid little trailer or lease it and spend more money and then you got to fill that up then you have to drive that back to your field you're gonna fill up your tractor and you can feel like a real idiot and nobody wants that trust me I mean it's happened to me okay I'm admitting it you can make fun of me in the comments down below well Jim and Martha Armand they're gonna be happy to see us because they're making tons of money off of us let's go ahead and hop out and get this thing repaired all right there's our tractor let's go ahead and repair it it's five hundred and sixty three dollars we will gladly pay that let's go ahead and repair the front loader while we're at it for 32 bucks and the bail spike for one dollar okay and there we go this tractor and all of its attached equipment all the way back up and uh you know while we're here at the gas station let's go ahead and just fill her up i mean why not kill two birds with one stone even though nobody likes to kill birds all right there we go filling it up and uh that was uh i can't read 45 dollars in fuel that's good now we are full of fuel and we are in a good state of repair so let's drive this thing on back to the farm i don't think any of our other equipment is uh damaged beyond 10 percent or needs a lot of gas so that is going to be how we end the episode and i tell you what i want to thank you guys for watching the video Thanks for the support on the channel as we work our way to 1,000 subscribers. I mean, that's pretty exciting. I'm just saying. And after that, the sky's the limit. We will be on our way to 1 billion subscribers. I mean, it can happen. All right, let's pull this tractor back in here. We'll just back it on in. And there it is. The fixed up and gassed up Steyr tractor. And here is our trailers. Here's our other tractor. Everything's good. The equipment's good. It's gassed up. It's ready to go. And that's another day at Bailey Farms. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being with us. In the next episode, we're going to be back here on Bailey Farms doing some stuff. Hopefully our crops will have come in. Hopefully we'll uh, get some more product from our sheep and our bees and our lettuce and greenhouses. And uh, we can make some more money because money is everything in Farming Simulator. Cash is king, as it should be. So thanks again for everything, and most importantly, thank you guys for letting me be a part of your day. It means a lot. And we are gonna see you right back here in the next video.